Welcome, dear listener, to a look in the past, to the other monastery place that used to be cool before Elvia happened. Before everyone was grinding the current broken monastery, the duo abandoned monastery. I decided to revisit this place about a month ago, back when I was still playing my Nova and I had my Guardian tagged, because back then I had full human damage crystals and I realized this place actually has human monsters, just like Biragi and the current broken monastery. So I figured let's revisit this place, grind it with better gear, better crystals, get higher trash per hour and see if this place is still relevant, if it's still profitable enough to grind it. So that's gonna be today's topic, sit back, relax and stick until the end because I also have an update on the previous episode on Sikraya if you wanna hear that one. So let's get started. First things first, as always, let's establish a starting point. This area did not receive the Kefrastone buff treatment, so it's not among the buffed areas, which means it should more or less be the same as it was one year ago. On my original test on this place, again a year ago, I was still playing Guardian Awakening, I averaged about 220 million silver per hour and my clearing speed was about 4000 trash per hour, average with better or worse hours on a blue loot score. That's what I have to beat these days, I have to just simply be faster than that. One year later, but still a month ago, I still played Guardian, it was tagged on Awakening because it's much easier to push monsters on that class specifically, that's why I didn't pick Nova. Uh, she had about 279 I believe AP and the human damage crystals, which was the main reason why I returned to this place. Full tier 4 pets for maxed out looting. In the end, I spent a total of 8 hours grinding this place with different results in terms of trash per hour and different partners. The original intention for me back there, back a month ago was to use the yellow loot scroll for every single session, unlike this series which is focused on the blue loot scroll, so that's why you see on the screenshots the high trash numbers. At the end of everything, like always, I stored everything in a bank, in this case I believe it was Kaplan, I took all of the stuff out, put it in my inventory so you can visualize the drops easier. I believe I forgot to take out the trash from one hour and it was still in, in uh, Calfion, so it will look a bit wonky and I stored the relics in the marketplace because they don't stack in the bank, but in, you know, literally this is the conclusion, the, the spreadsheet for today, the updated one year later experience, this is the result. Not a whole lot of stuff drops. I managed to average almost one of these per hour, I dropped seven resentments or earrings in eight hours. I don't know if this is considered amazing luck or just average, I tried to show you a breakdown here, like 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 0, it, it's like it either drops nothing or two of them in one hour. So that was interesting. The trash per hour breakdown, as you can see, it, it started kind of meh, whatever, just adjusting to the place, 6.6, 6.7 thousand, and then once I changed partners and let's say got a bit better or whatever, it, it hovered around 7.7, 7.6 thousand trash, that seems to be my clearing speed. This is when I'm try. I try my best. I will say I tried my best. I know a lot of you out there are much fast, faster grinders, and you tell me in the comments, "Oh, your trash per hour is poop and whatever." You know what? I tried my absolute best. This is the result I got. I'm proud of it, and someday in the future I will grind even faster than this. But for now, this is the best I can do. Keep in mind, it was yellow loot scroll, so that's why it's that high. I believe I only spawned two bosses, two or three at most, during these eight hours. So I feel like that's below average, but still, in the end, seven earrings in eight hours, that, that's still pretty good. For a trash, it averaged 7.3 thousand on yellow, but since this series is focused on the blue loot scroll, I just converted the number into the blue loot scroll trash per hour, assuming that perfect 33% scaling. So on a blue loot scroll I should be getting about 4.9, let's say 5000 trash per hour, that's today's clearing speed for me. Um, in the end, the you know, long story short, the money per hour average 272 million silver with pretty much everything valued or around 310 on the yellow loot scroll with the better trash. 
about 27, let's say 25%. A fourth of your income is just trash and everything else comes from items you sell to the marketplace that get taxed. And um, yeah, that I believe that's, that's basically it. Seeing how everything was tested one month ago and on my Guardian, I decided to revisit this place literally yesterday on Corsair because different class, now I don't have the human damage crystals on this one, I just wanted to get an updated one month later view, just, just one hour on a blue loot scroll to see if my clearing speed remains the same. And I did get 4.9 thousand trash, no bosses, no nothing special, but it, it confirmed that my clearing speed is indeed about 4.9 to 5,000 trash. I wonder why this place didn't receive the Capra Stone treatment, because I feel like it could really benefit from those Capra drops. Instead of just simply dropping dust, if it also had like 50 million silver per hour from Capras, like any other area, it would push this place to be either on par or just slightly better than Sikraya, which in my opinion it would be appealing because it's a, it's a duo grinding spot, it takes effort, time, you know, it's not as easy to find a partner unless you have friends. I mean, yeah, if you have friends I suppose it's much easier. And um, I will leave it at that. If you made it this far, let's briefly discuss about the Sikraya update, the previous episode. Let's just say I did make a couple of mistakes and I judged the area too harshly. I appreciate all of the comments I got, I got quite a lot of them, both good and bad feedback, let's just say that. Now I understand I forgot the merchant ring drops there, so it actually has a purpose, it's not that bad, and um, my class Corsair is not known to be uh, an amazing grinder currently on Succession. That paired with the fact that I'm kind of a casual grinder, like I don't try hard as much as other people do, my 5.3 thousand trash per hour was probably just mediocre at best. I understand people expect 6 to 7 thousand trash per hour from Sikraya, in which case it's 300 plus million silver and that puts it close enough to Elvia to compete. Elvia is still better obviously, but you know this place is a decent alternative that is a bit less contested. So I will give it that. And now for my mistake, something that I don't think anyone spotted in the video amazingly like surprisingly if you look at the spreadsheet it was like 260 million silver per hour but there's one key thing that is missing from the spreadsheet i'm, I'm human i make mistakes this is the updated version i forgot to add the blackstones from the picture into the spreadsheet and after adding the blackstones that seem to be going up in price because of the recent patch where you can exchange these for fail stacks, now the place is worth 280 million silver with my same mediocre-ish clearing speed. So if I could eventually in the future when my class gets buffed or whatever, I, if I can achieve 6000 rush per hour then this place should be like 300 million silver. So I'm sorry, I can make mistakes, I can be harsh, I'm not perfect. Thank you very much for watching this video, like it if you enjoyed it, leave a comment, just like always, if you want to give me feedback and just what are your thoughts about uh, abandoned monastery in particular. And I will see you next time with a different area. Have a good evening. Bye bye.